when we look at chipping or scratches, how, how do the surfaces deal with that? We have a bit of a saying, don't cut on any of them with a knife. With the Dacaran, if you cut with a sharp knife, you can leave a mark. On the quartz, if you cut with a sharp knife, you dull the knife. Okay, so, so you don't, don't cut on any of them. It's not, mm. either it's not good for the counter or it's not good for the knife. Okay. Um, there's that's why cutting boards, when you cut with them, they're specifically made. You leave a mark on the cutting board, but you don't mm. dull the knife. Okay, so that's why we recommend for items like that, you, you need to be cognizant of what you're doing. Um, the, the Dacaran, of course, being completely man-made of resin, is the most likely to be scratched in the event of you're, 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 you're working on it with something sharp or heavy, anything like that. No, it's the most easy to refinish, get it back to the showroom glow. The, the granite is very good for scratching. You have to be careful for impact. If something hard hits the corner, your chip can come out. And different granites are different. Some are very dense. Some are a bit more open grain, a bit more soft. So you need to be careful, thoughtful, mindful. It's more difficult to, to fix it. Because generally when you, you, you have to fix the, uh, a patch, you're gonna see it. Mm -hmm. If you have to polish the top, it's a very skilled job. And it can, it can take a long time to get it back to the proper shine. The quartz, the quartz is very good as well. It's like a very dense granite in how it behaves in terms of you can't scratch it, but it's not chipped easily either. So that's kind of how they react to the, to the chip and the scratch it. Okay, thanks Bill.